Welcome back everyone. I am extremely excited to share a piece that I've just gotten from Brew Watches. If you remember from a previous video, I learned about this brand at the Wind Up Watch Fair. I got to meet the founder, got to chat with him, and I also learned about this watch that was coming out. It's in collaboration with one of my childhood heroes, Alton Brown. For those of you who don't know, Alton Brown is a TV personality, but also a chef and uh, a judge and a man of many talents. To this day, I use his recipe for brining a turkey every Thanksgiving. I thought it was a lot of fun that they were able to meet with Alton Brown and work with him on this watch and that they were able to create a watch that had a little bit of fun and pays homage to their brand. So this is the Brew Relic Retrograph. This is a chronograph. You know what? Why don't I go ahead and open this up and then I can tell you some more about it. This is the box that it came in. Nice small box. You see Alton Brown's initials here. You got the Brew logo here. If we turn it over, this says Alton Brown Limited Edition, one of 250. We were able to select the numbers. If we look inside, we'll see that there is another box and this box has the brew logo on it. If we open this box up, we have polishing cloth that has the brew X Alton Brown. That's pretty neat. Even the polishing cloth has the collaboration insignia on it. Then you've got the Alton Brown brew on the booklet. So this is a brew and then you see Alton Brown. This is his face, limited edition. This goes over the design mission. This says, we sought to create a vintage inspired chronograph with a unique dial that was designed to express an espresso-esque patina. The oxidation process used to create this timepiece ensures that each dial and watch is truly one of a kind. This goes into the dial and also the watch timer, the fact that it's a limited edition and on the back of the watch is Alton Brown's face with which number that you got. I will definitely take a look at this later. This is uh, a little bit about the strap. So it says, the proof is in the patina, Billy Kirk. Billy Kirk was founded in Los Angeles by brothers Chris and Kirk Bray in 1999. As pioneers in the Made in America movement, Billy Kirk has been helping support and grow the American leather artisan industry for nearly 25 years. Well, that's cool. Well, without further ado, let's take a look at the actual piece. This box also has Alton Brown's initials on it. I mean, his initials are everywhere. And there it is. Wow. The color is very, very unique. You've got the brewery logo. You've got the hands and the hour marker. You've got the seconds hand. You got the lollipop chronograph hand. This is quite nice. It looks vintage and I love the oxidation on it. The styling on the hands, the minute and hour hand, and the seconds hand is, I like it. Um, then let's take a look at the back. This leather strap also feels very nice. It feels like quality. It's got a nice shine to the leather. It needs to be broken in a bit, but you know, feels quite nice. If we look at the back, I love this. So you can see that this has Alton Brown, Brew Limited Edition, and this is 222 out of 250. Billy Kirk, made in USA. The stitching on it is very nice. The quality is very nice. Because of the leather strap though, this is going to sit a bit high. It's very interesting that there's a cutout here. I wonder what the thought process behind that was. We can look right through the sapphire to that oxidation, the patina on the dial. It's so cool. I do also really like that even though it's limited edition, it is limited limited in a sense where there's no other dial that looks exactly like this. So this is technically a piece unique. I'm super excited because Brew is a brand that I'm starting to learn more about and get more into. And Alton Brown is a childhood hero. So to hear that they collaborated, they made a watch, 
and that I was able to get one of these, one of only 250 in the world. It's just very special to me. This is something I'm gonna keep forever. And yeah, I'm very excited to have this. So why don't we go ahead and go over the dimensions. This feels like the case is probably the same as my 8-bit, but because it's on this leather strap, it's going to sit a lot thicker. But let's go ahead and take a look. So we'll go across. Across you got 37 millimeters. Up and down the case, you've got 41.5. Now the thickness, I'm going to measure it including the leather strap because that's how you're going to be wearing it. Oh, 14.7. So actually not too bad. This is not as thick as I thought it would be. The strap starts at the width of the watch at about 33.1 and then it tapers down to 17.1. See how much this weighs? Sitting at 79 grams, so definitely not too heavy, easy wear. Definitely easier than I thought it would be. This is also a Mecha Quartz movement, so I'm not gonna do the accuracy on it. All right, there it is on the wrist. It feels all right. The leather definitely needs to be broken in. You've got Alton Brown on the buckle, which is a nice touch. Yeah, what do you guys think about this watch? Are you guys fans of Alton Brown and brew watches? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, I'm very excited about this piece. It is so special that I get to have something that's a collaboration between a brand that I'm getting to know as well as a childhood hero. Thank you, Brew Watches, and thank you, Alton Brown, for making this piece and making my year. This watch is a lot of fun, definitely super special, and something that will stay in my collection forever. So thanks again. Thanks to all of you for stopping by. If you like this content, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Okay.